Four, marriage is a bad deal for men. And it does not make sense for men to get married in 2024. Lord help us. <laughs> so in 2024, marriage is a bad deal for men. And it does not make sense for men to get married in 2024. Now, this statement is simply a fact. It is just a fact. Now, many times when I say this, my critics, my detractors... It's not good for men to get married in 2024. That is just a fact. Is it? I don't buy it. I do not buy it. I do not buy it. I do not buy it. Okay, I do not buy it. So, no. We want men to get married. We want men to get married. Okay? So, stop promoting this, uh, you know, this is a boogeyman over here. That is too risky. <laughs> Hollywood, I agree. If if all the stuff that she's talking about is just in Hollywood, I'll be like, you know what? I think it's even 95% in Hollywood. <laughs> okay, because they, 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 they have a different uh, meaning of what marriage is in Hollywood. Okay, look at J-Lo, J-Lo. Will come at me and they'll say, Pearl. But don't you want to get married? But Pearl, are you just a doomer? Da, 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 da. And it's so interesting, they make it personal. But facts do not care about the way you feel. So 50% of marriages end in divorce, okay? And trad cons will come in and say these are made-up stats. They're not, but let's just say they are. So let's cut it in half. Let's go down to 25%. If you did a business deal where your partner is paid to leave, and in the process of leaving, this partner, this business partner has the power to accuse you of assault, to ruin your entire reputation, to fire you, to help make you lose your job, to disparage you on social media, to take half of the money that you've spent 20 years working for, um, to take your children. Even if it was a 25% chance, you would think, I don't know if I want to sign that deal. I don't know if that's a good idea. But for some reason with this topic, and I just, I never understood what it is about this topic. Trad cons get so emotional and they'll object. They'll say, well, we, we need to get married and fight degeneracy and da, 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 da. But okay, okay. One, most people aren't religious. So putting your like morality on other people isn't going to work. That's like me going up to Muslims I'm a Catholic and going up to Muslims and saying, why don't you go get the first communion? And then they say, well, we don't believe that. And I say, hey, go, go, get, get you a first communion. Go. So do you, do you hear what she's saying, guys? Okay. According to her, uh, you know, it's a bad deal. So she thinks, like I said, every time, like you said, because this is a, a different video, a different situation, right? But you see the pattern that she has in her mind, marriage is just a business transaction. Marriage is just a business transaction. That's, if people are doing that, that's not a marriage. They might call it that, but it is not. Okay. Not only that, she says, oh, you know, uh, in whatever, in 2024, right? 50% uh, of the marriages are going to get divorced. Okay. Where? In California, in Hollywood, or in Mississippi, like uh, where? Okay, be specific. And she doesn't want to be specific. You see what I'm saying? Because she knows if she's she's going to be specific, you're gonna check her on it. You see what I'm saying? Just like no, if you if if you're going to the clubs, okay, you're asking those those people if they don't want to get married. Of course, they don't want to get married, right? They 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 want to live a promiscuous lifestyle. So it's just like, okay, where are you pulling these statistics from? Who are you asking? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, are people getting divorced every day? The answer is yes. Okay. Are people uh, getting child support? Are people, are women abusing? Like, you know, women will do that. Like, look at these athletes, right? The, the women are going to secure, they, they call it the securing a bag. Okay. So there are a number of women who are doing those things. But is that the majority of women who are doing those things? 
So my question is like, if men are not there to be providing these, you know, the bag of money to these women, would they be doing these things? So the blame has to to cut both ways because marriage is, is a man and a woman, okay? We want men to want to get married and women to want to get married so these two can come together. But if men want to get married and women are not going to get married, guess what? You're still going to have a number of single people uh, roaming around and vice versa. So to me, all I'm seeing is, I don't know, what, what you guys think, okay? What, what are you guys, uh, what, what are you seeing from, uh, from this? <laughs> You know, uh, what I say, it's, yes, it's not good for a man to be alone. Exactly. The scripture says that. So our standard is the scriptures and we're going to apply the scriptures to everybody, including Muslims. Okay. There's no exception because God has spoken. So I, I I refuse to let my sword because you, you want, even the people in Holland, whatever they're doing, like J-Lo, what, four or five husbands, that's an abomination. That should not be so. So no, according to the scripture, like, no, sit down, get married, take care of your business at home. Okay. Pearl comes up. <laughs> oh, Juju, now you know her, right? <laughs> I told you there's more. There's more. What is it saying? Is it, facts only take you so far. Yes, if you're a Catholic or a Christian and you look at these facts and you're discouraged, but no, you need to marry so as not to sin. Your hope is in Christ, not in stats. Amen and amen and amen. This is what I'm saying. Just like, yes, you know, uh, you know, my, my parents divorced. But guys, what? I wasn't, going, you know, I've always wanted to get married. There was not even a single moment in my life that, oh, guess what? I'm never going to get married. Why? Because my mom and dad divorced. Absolutely not. I, I never even, that never even crossed my mind. You know, I've always wanted to get married ever since I was young. So this idea of like, okay, you know, just because people are going to get divorced, then because no, you know. And that was the story all around uh, so many friends, so many families. That was just like, okay, just normal. These are things that happen, right? People are going to divorce. Yeah, it happens. That doesn't mean that people shouldn't get married because people divorce. Yeah. That doesn't mean that people shouldn't be, uh, you know, have kids because they're going to lose their kids or whatever child support. No, you know. I grant her that the judicial, the court system, the divorce um, court system over here, D does not bode well with men. That's definitely true. They do just favor women, even though women might be at fault, but they, you know, the privileges, most things, they do go to women. They do go to women. That part is definitely true. But still, imagine, right? If this, if, if you marry somebody, even if you're not a believer, but you're committed to your husband, you're committed to your wife, you're committed to your family, why would you be wanting to be going to the divorce courts? And then she always brings up this prenup, 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 right? If you're marrying somebody, it's for richer, for poor, for better, for worse. So you're marrying them with everything you have. So this idea like, oh, no, but all of me, you know, just part of me, like, no, you know, you become, you, you're a one flesh union, okay? So all those things you are to share together as, as husband and wife. But if you want to keep something here, something here, like, look at these people in Hollywood. How many prenups do they have and how many divorces do they have? So just because somebody has a prenup, that doesn't mean they're not going to have a divorce. If anything, they have more divorces than anybody else, to be, to be quite honest, you know? So I guess I think Hollywood is the one who, who, who increases these numbers, you know, because... Yeah, marriages in Hollywood are, are something else. Okay, so let's listen into to her analysis. Go get communion. Go to confession. And they're like, what are you talking about, you crazy lady? And I just never understood why trad cons are, are so emotional with this topic. If I say an objective fact, hey, it is dangerous for young men to get married. They do not know what they're signing up for. No woman is a guarantee. There are homeschooled virgins that divorce rape their husbands. Those are all facts. And you'll see the same like cope that you see feminists use. Like if I make a generality about women, then they'll say, oh, well, not all women are like that. Da, 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 da. And it's so interesting because the same way they say that, when I say it's like not all marriages are like that. And it's like stating the obvious. And, and it's so interesting because then they'll use their marriage as like the one we should look up to. And I mean, I, I'm not, I don't really care. It's not my, my deal. But why does everybody have to be like you? And it almost puts these influencers in a really like God-like state. 
where they say everybody has to live like me. I don't think there's anything wrong with a guy that says, you know what? These, there are way too many whores. I'm, I'm going to live like be a monk in the woods. If a guy says, you know what? Women are not worth commitment. I might date some girls casually, but that's it for me. If a guy wants to Dan Bolzeri in it and the chicks are consenting, it's not really my problem. But I, I don't know. Like It's just the weirdest phenomenon that conservatives care about facts unless it goes against marriage, then facts go out the window. I don't know, just thought I had, but let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> like the videos. The example is in the scriptures. So all the stuff, the pushback that you're experiencing, the things that we are, we are saying, we are not making things up, okay? We are just going through uh, what the Bible teaches on this issue. So if everybody just like, no, you know, we're just applying the standard, like, no, but the scripture says uh, a man should not be alone, right? It is good to, uh, um, it is good to have a wife, right? He who created them created the male and female, right? God is the one who officiated the first marriage, okay? So all these things are already in the scriptures. We just, we, we're just telling people, look at the scripture, follow that issue. That's it. That's what we're saying out here. That's what we're saying out here. So no. We are not, dis whatever else you're going to say, if it's true, we're going to agree with you. But if it does not conform to the scriptures, we are under obligation to check that against scripture. That's it.